piggy banks to money markets to credit cards, coins, and cash machines. I'm talking about money, talking about dollars and cents. Comic books and ice cream cones, paying rents and getting loans. I'm talking about money, talking about dollars and cents. And when you use it, you'll see that it's no big mystery. If you can count to three, then you can make some dollars and cents. But it's something you need to learn. Something that most people have to earn. Something that you can save for a rainy day. Money is something you spend and you lend It's in birthday cars that your grandparents send It's something that you can choose to give away And when you use it you'll see That it's no big mystery If you can count to three then you can make some dollars and cents if you can say ABC, then you can make some dollars and cents. Hi, I'm TJ. On Saturday afternoons, I help my Uncle Jack at his recycling plant. He pays me to help him. Working there is a great way to learn about business. Uncle Jack buys these cans and then turns them back into aluminum and sells the aluminum. Uncle Jack always says when you're selling stuff, there's three things you've got to remember. Buy low, sell high, and keep good records. Hi, I'm Dion. I really love music. Sunday, I'd like to play the piano professionally. Last Saturday, I was playing at my little brother's birthday party. One girl's mother heard me there, and she asked me to come play at her daughter's party. She's going to pay me for it, so I'm learning some new songs. This is a good opportunity for me to get some real life experience. Hi, my name is Adam, and I used to love to play with all these toys. But I don't really play with them anymore. I bet there's a lot of kids out there who would love this stuff. So I decided to have a yard sale. With the money I make, I'll buy baseball cards. Baseball cards are a great investment. You buy them, keep them for a while, and then they're worth more than what you paid. I'm Elizabeth. I like to help people do jobs because it's fun and we can talk. I help my mom water all the plants in the house. And I help her outside in the garden too. I learn to tell the weeds from the good plants and I help my mom pull them up by the roots. When I work really hard in the garden, my mom pays me and then I can go shopping. What is money? I guess it's different things to different people. Money is something you earn by working for it, and then you get to spend it. You save money to get something special. It's like a language, and you have to learn to use it, or you won't be able to get along in this world. It's what your parents use to buy a house or pay the rent. Well, you get clothes or food or a car with it, what you need or what you want. Uh, it helps you if you want to go to college. Money is what you have to think. Well, money is what you use to get things. Money is something you can, you can give to help people who don't have enough food. Why do we use money? People do use money to get things, but they can also get things by trading. Hey, I'll trade you my apple for your yogurt. Okay. I'll trade you the soccer ball for the baseball bat. Sure. I'll give you both of these for him. No way. I'll give you all three of them for him. Okay. I'll trade you this ribbon for that ribbon. Since olden times, and probably before that, people have traded things. Like two goats for a donkey, or a basket of corn for a pair of shoes, or a sword for a necklace. Everybody trades. If trading works so well, you're probably wondering, then why do we need anything else? Well, let's say a baker makes 24 loaves of bread. The shirt maker comes in and trades his shirt for four loaves. The candle maker trades two candles for one loaf. The farmer makes a deal, two loaves for a head of lettuce, a bunch of carrots, and some apples. 
The dairy person comes in and gets four loaves of bread for two quarts of milk. Now, let's say a horse trader comes in. But what if the horse is worth 5,000 loaves? What's the horse trader going to do with all that bread? And what if the baker doesn't even need a horse? What if the baker really needs a new oven? Trading isn't always the easiest way to exchange things. That's why we have money. Money is a tool that makes trading easier. So the baker could sell bread to the horse trader for money. And sell bread to the shirt maker and the candle maker and the farmer and the dairy person and everybody else for money. And then spend some of the money on a shirt, candles, milk, and food. And save the rest for a new oven. People of all lands and cultures have invented money. When you think of money, you probably think of coins and bills like these. In the United States, coins are made by the government in a place called the Mint. Bills are made at the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. But money can be other things besides coins and bills. People made money from real materials in order to give it value. In Africa, they used copper axe heads and copper rings called manilas. Other materials have value too. Abalone shell necklaces, intricately woven clamshell belts, and beaver pelts were all used by Native North Americans. And in the Pacific Ocean, on an island, Yap Natives used circular stones with a hole in the middle. The largest of these was 12 feet tall. Imagine taking that to a store. Today, often people use checks and credit cards to pay for things. A check represents money you already have in the bank. When you write a check to someone, you are telling the bank to give them some of your money. When you pay for something using a credit card, you are borrowing money from the credit card company. You pay the credit card company back by writing them a check. The check tells your bank to give your money to the credit card company. If you don't pay the credit card company on time, they will charge you extra for making them wait. This can get very expensive. How do people get money? People earn money by working for it. I make greeting cards with real pressed flowers on them and sell them at the school fair. Some people get money in bad ways, like they steal it. I don't get paid for all the jobs I do around the house, but I do get an allowance for vacuuming. I don't get an allowance. When I want money, I ask for parents, but I don't always get it. Some people with millions of dollars in lotteries, and then they're rich beyond their wildest dreams. Famous rock stars and baseball players have tons of money. The odds of winning a lottery or becoming a rock star are about six billion to one. You might find a treasure in your backyard if you dig deep enough. My grandpa sent me money for my birthday. Sometimes people die and leave their money to you. I think the happiest people are the ones who get paid for what they enjoy. Money doesn't grow on trees It's not in a pot at the end of a rainbow A genie won't make it appear In a puff of smoke from behind your ear It takes work, lots of work To make an honest buck You can't rely on luck No, you got to work hard Money doesn't grow on trees Money doesn't grow on trees If your mouth didn't come with a silver spoon in it If a lottery happened and your folks didn't win it If you've never discovered an old pirate's chest Then listen my friend, put these words to the test Money doesn't grow on trees it's not in a pot at the end of a rainbow A genie won't make it appear In a puff of smoke from behind your ear It takes work, lots of work To make an honest buck You can't rely on luck, no, you gotta work hard Cause money doesn't grow on trees no money doesn't grow on trees Money doesn't grow But it don't you know Money doesn't grow on trees Let's blow her in When I'm done helping, my mom's gonna pay me Right in the hole 
okay to cover it all up with the dirt. It's hard work, but I like oh, putting the plants yeah, in. It's deep. <laughs> it's gonna be tough to cover this up. There we go. Great job. You know what I'm gonna do with the money? What? I'm gonna buy Ben a birthday present. He'll be so surprised. How much are these? One for a dollar, two for one seventy-five. I'll take them. Thank you. Things went great at the yard hey, sale. Like that? Yeah. I sold Thank way more than I thought I would. Was young. Hey, Mr. Big Sale. Hey, I'll be trading baseball cards with you later. All right, see you soon. Hey, this is neat. You like that? Yeah. Do you have any money? No. Go on, take it. Thanks. Just don't tell anybody. When I got back from playing at my first party, I couldn't Hi. wait to tell them that. Great. The kids had a great time. And another person who saw me there wants to hire me for next Saturday. That is great. Do you want a brownie? Sure. Maybe I tell Annette myself. everything. She's been my babysitter ever since I was little. Deanne, you ought to go into business. <laughs> I'm a kid. I have school. And school's the most important thing. But birthday parties are on weekends, so you'd have plenty of time to study. Yeah. Hey, I could put up an ad on the school bulletin board. That way, lots of parents will see it. That's a great idea, Dion. You're going to do so well. Let me tell you about our booming business. It was a hot, hot day, and thirsty people were everywhere. So we put all our money together and rushed off to the store. We bought cups, lemonade, paper to make a big sign. Everything. Business was booming. We ran our supplies four times, and each time one of us had to run back to the store to buy more stuff. What a great day! How can kids make money? Giving Elizabeth cello lessons is a great job, because I like to watch her improve. I've always been an early bird, and I like being outside in the morning, when it's quiet. So this paper route is the perfect job for me. When people go away on vacation, I come in and look after their pets. You know, I feed them, clean them, and talk to them, too. On Saturdays, I come over to my next-door neighbor's house to entertain her kids while she's getting things done. Next year, I'll be old enough to take a babysitting class. When you make money, you've got to decide what to do with it. Sometimes you make good decisions, and sometimes you make mistakes. I really like to buy stuff. The fun, it never ends. I get presents for my friends. It's like there's no tomorrow, and if there is, I'll borrow, I'll just spend, 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 spend. No, you should save it, save it, save it. No, you should save it, put it all away. Then you'll always have it, have it, have it. Then you'll always have it on a rainy day. Save, 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 save. Generosity. Give some to a charity. Help lots of other people who need it more than you. Have a little heart. Have a little heart. Invest it, grow it, spend it on your business. for a new bike. I send half the money I make to sponsor a child in Africa. I like to spend my money on going to the movies. When I got this paper route, they promised me a $5,000 scholarship to college if I kept it for three years. I'm investing in my education. College! I like to buy music tapes. Comic books. Baseball cards. I sponsor my sister in the walk for hunger for 10 cents a mile. I'm going to buy my mother a Mother's Day present. I don't know what I'm saving for, but I just like to save. After my art sale, 
I counted up all the money I had made and brought it to the bank. I put it in my savings account. Hi, Adam. Hi. But the money doesn't just sit there in a drawer till you come back to get it. The bank uses the money that people save. How? They put it all together and lend it to other people who need a lot of money at one time. When someone borrows money from the bank, that's a loan. People can get loans for many things. To buy equipment for a business, go to school, buy a car, fix up a house or buy a new house. A loan to buy a new house is called a mortgage. Every month, people pay back a part of the loan to the bank. The bank charges them a fee for using the money they have borrowed. The fee is called interest. The bank gives some of the interest to you for letting other people use your money. The bank keeps some of the interest and that's how a bank makes money. So when you put money in a bank, you're helping people do things. Sometimes after our lesson, Dania and I like to have treats. How's your ice cream? Good. Mine's too. And I also like to go shopping. <laughs> when I got home, I realized I had totally forgotten about something. Hey, Mom, what are you doing? I'm frosting a cake for Ben's birthday. <gasps> I spent all my money in the toy store, and now I can't buy him a present. we got back from the lemonade stand, we couldn't wait to figure out how much money we had made. Wow! Look at all this money! I'll count this pile and you count that pile. Alright! I got $13.45. In this pile, how much do you have? I have $15.38. Wow! So how much money did you put in when we bought the cups and the lemonade and the napkins and stuff to start our business? I had $12.50 when we started. I used all of it. How much did you spend? I had $15, and I invested all of that, so that means we invested a total of $27.50, which means we made a profit of $1.33? $1.33? A profit is how much money you have left over when you take out how much you spent in the first place. Sometimes it's a lot, sometimes it isn't. We learn the hard way. Hi, Adam. Hi. Taking a little money today? Yep. Okay. There you go, Adam. There's $26. I went to the bank and took out some money, and then I went to the toy store. I was looking forward to getting my baseball cards all week. I was surprised. Some sets were $10 and some were $150. I got one I could afford and still have some money left over. But when I showed Chris what I had bought... Oh, Adam. What's the matter? If you'd have gone to a dealer and bought a whole set, it probably would have cost less than what you paid for each card separately. Well, how do you know the value of each of the cards? I get a magazine each month. It gives you all the going prices for cards. That way, you always know if you're getting a fair deal. A magazine? If you're going to collect cards, you have to invest in a good magazine. Otherwise, you'll never know what you're getting. Well, hey, I, I still have the receipt. I can return them. And guess what I'm going to get when I get my money back? A Bo Jackson card? Heck no. I'm going to order that magazine. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss McCaffrey, but I can only play at houses where they have a piano. Okay. Thank you for asking, though. All right, bye-bye. That's the third time I had to turn down a job because they didn't have a piano. Oh, that's too bad. I realized I had to be able to bring my music with me, and that meant I'd have to get an electronic keyboard or a synthesizer of some kind. So I decided to go out and figure out what I needed and how much it would cost. Some didn't have enough octaves, and some didn't have enough sound choices. And some just sounded wonderful, but they were way too expensive for me. I asked Annette what she thought. Does that sound good? Yeah, I like the 
this one. You do. Except it's kind of small, so like that one has more octaves, but it might not sound as good. Okay. So. So you want to look at some others? Yeah. Okay. Dion. 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 Huh? What? You know you might be able to get a good used one. Well, this guy is selling a four hundred dollar model for two hundred dollars. But even at that price, I'd have to save everything I make for almost a year. And that would mean I couldn't buy any sheet music, any tapes, and no birthday presents for anyone in the family, including you. So this $200 keyboard sounds like a really good deal to you? It's not a good deal if I can't get it. Making choices. You can't have it all. How do you budget your money? I just go and spend it all. I don't budget my money. The minute I get it, it just comes flying out of my pocket. Should I buy the expensive shoes and not go out with my friends, or buy the cheaper shoes and go to the movies? I try to keep things balanced. What I save, what I spend, and what I give away. When I get an urge to spend my money, I try to think about what I really want, and then I save. Well, sometimes I spend a little. Where did my money go? Suddenly I have no dough. I can't believe it's true How did I do it? Did I just run through it? What in the world can I do? You have the talents to keep things in balance But it shouldn't be a mystery and liabilities I just want to stay out of the hole oh, 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 oh. Should I spend or save it? Invest it or donate it? How can I stay in control? You have the talents to keep things in balance Money shouldn't be a mystery You have the power hour by hour Just spread it up Income savings, cost and fees, I'll write them down so I can see Just what I need to get me through A budget is the strategy to get me where I want to be And it's something I know that I can do I can do We have the talents to keep things in balance Money shouldn't be a mystery The weather was supposed to be really hot the next weekend, so Jared and I decided that this time we'd get this lemonade stand thing right. Look how much less cups cost there. Yeah, they cost a lot less than we paid last time. And if we raise our prices with nickel, we could really make some money this time. Let's figure it out. So we should charge 30 cents a cup, which means we'd make a profit of 16 cents a cup. Now this is buy low, sell high, and keep good records. I didn't give up on getting Ben a birthday present. I decided to try again. I helped Mrs. Wagner all afternoon, and by the end of the day, I had enough money to buy Ben a great gift. I kept the money in my bank until Mom and I went to the store again. Getting Ben's present wasn't easy because the store had lots of things I wanted. But I was proud of myself. I got something for Ben I knew he'd really like. Like he'll like it? Yeah. He'll he'll just love it. Okay. Here's your present, Ben. Wow! This is great! Thanks! I have a proposal for you, Dion. 
You say that the $200 keyboard's a pretty good deal. Well, I'll pay for the keyboard, and then you can pay me back. What do you mean? Well, you charge $10 a party, and you mm -hmm. pay me, say, $4, and you keep $6 for yourself. Then after you've played at 50 parties, I've made back my investment. But what if I never played that many parties? That's my risk. If you don't pay me back, then I lose the money. But I think your idea is really great, and that you'll get lots of customers because you play so well. Okay, I hope you're right. When Annette gave me the money to buy my keyboard, she was investing in me. $200. This is a good way for me to know if I'm cut out for this kind of work. But it's scary because it's my responsibility to pay That's Annette be great. back. You ready to buy your synthesizer? Yep. In my math class, we're learning about the stock market. When people buy stock, they own part of the company. The money they put into the company helps the company make new products, improve their equipment, or sell in new markets. We pretend to buy stock in different companies and then follow how well they do. At the end of the year, we see how much we would have made or lost if we'd been using real money. It's sort of like baseball cards. You have to know what you're getting, but you're always taking a risk. You know, following stocks is a really exciting way to use math. But now I'm realizing knowing math is the only way to succeed in business. That's why I'm going to ace this test. You can't always get everything you want. Sometimes you have to wait so you can get the things that are most important. When you save up to buy someone a present, it really makes you feel good. We take good care of our customers and invest a lot of time and energy into our business so we can buy low, sell high, and keep good records. Business is fun because you can learn from your mistakes and figure out ways to do things better. When I started paying Annette back, I was really proud because I meant she was right about me. And I'm also proud when I get customers. I've learned a lot more about performance than I could have if Annette hadn't helped me. I always wanted to be a musician. Now I know I can make money doing something I really love. Some dollars and cents. 